Okay, everything is packed in the back of the Bronco. Time to leave the Drury Hotel. Uh, and where are we headed next? Fort Worth. Fort Worth. So, Fort Worth is our next destination. Wait a minute. This place has like a whole kitchen. Oh, look. look at that. Toaster. And a toaster. Fuck yeah. Oh, I like this. Wow, this is a, huge, a real mini sweep. It's like a full size refrigerator. <laughs> I like this place. Huh? I like this place. We could even have a friend stay overnight. Yeah, we could have friends oh, come yeah. over if we wanted to do such a thing. A TV. <laughs> this place yeah. Is So yeah, full kitchen and the bathroom. So it's got a stove top. Yeah, this is a total full kitchen. Wait, Joe, huh? That is huge. Yeah. I can't go very high. Yeah. Okay. Ah! <laughs> no. I did it. I wasn't a perfect landing. I didn't stick it. You didn't so, stick it. So like eight point two. Yeah, I don't know about that. Yay! Okay, so we are at the Shannon Rose Hill Funeral Chapel and Cemetery. This is where uh, Lee Harvey Oswald is buried, right? Yes. So uh, I've got a pretty good idea where it's at because I've studied the maps on, uh, <laughs> on the internet because apparently the staff here will not tell people where his grave is. You have to find it on your own. But we know it's kind of catty cornered from the uh, Shannon, the main Shannon tomb or maus mausoleum. Is that how you say it? Mausoleum. Yes. I know it's uh, pink, and uh, I believe that it's there in the distance. I'm already going the wrong way. All right. So we'll head over there. That's it. So, <clears throat> okay, so here it is. This is the Shannon Mausoleum. You know, Oswald's buried right next to it. Kind of kitty corner to it. Oswald's burial, burial place should be right over here. Yeah? Yeah, somewhere over here, definitely. Uh, I've seen many pictures of it, so I think I already see it. Yep, this is it right here. Here he is. Oh, you found him before me. Oswald. And then we got the famous Nick Beef grave right next to it. <laughs> that is an empty grave. Uh, Nick Beef is a comedian who knew that the staff would not tell people where Oswald is, so he faked a burial and buried an empty... Um, what do you Cas call it? Casket. Casket here. But they have since gotten wind of it and they will not tell you where his grave is either. So, anyway, here we are at Oswald's grave. Somebody has put a half dollar there. Yes, why? Why do you think they did that? Because isn't that JFK on it? That's so. JFK on it, uh, yeah? I believe so. Right? I believe so. Yeah. So, kind of fitting, I guess. It's kind of an interesting feeling being here six feet above or let me say it this way six feet below us is a guy a man who caused one of the most infamous events in modern history 
yep, that still resonates to today. For people that, that were alive, alive back then, this is their 9-11. They had the world before, before Kennedy was assassinated and the world after. Yeah. And it's, like I said, it still resonates. I mean, you go into Dallas and you go to the sixth floor museum, it's still, oh, yeah, it's still the top attraction in the city of Dallas. More people go to the sixth floor museum than anywhere else. But, uh, yeah, what a strange feeling, you know. Right below us, down there, that guy, he caused a lot of hell. Well, he said he was just a patsy. <laughs> yeah, well, we... <laughs> I'm just a patsy. It's obvious he did it. There's, you know, that's been set in stone. You can't help but remember that footage of when he got shot. I know. You know? I know. We might have to make it over to Ruby's grave at some point, too, so... Yeah, that's, anyway. that's crazy. The footage, all the footage from this event is like crazy. I don't know. Yeah. It's bizarre. He, he's just got this little bitty stone set in the ground. That's all he's got. <laughs> I would think. Doesn't they, deserve anymore, I suppose. I would think they wouldn't even give him one because people could come and, like, you know, yeah. mess it up. Yeah. Anyway. Wow. Pretty cool. Famous Fort Worth stockyards. Well, I guess we'll find a place to uh, get out and look around. Go ahead, lady. Yee haw! <laughs> Giddy up, little lady. That is bigger than she is. Yeah. I see, is that a cow I see in the road? What? I think oh. I see a cow in the road. Oh, yeah. Did it? It's, it's some four legged beast. <laughs> There's a cow in the road. How can you tell if it's a cow or, or a horse? That's, all I see is his ass. That's a big long horn. Oh, okay. Look, yeah, I see the horns. Yeah. Look at that. Look at the horns. Turn right. Turn right. Australian Siri. That's so cool. Australian Siri oh, wants okay, me to turn right. They've got somebody like leading him. All right. Well, yeah. There's, so he's that's why I let it run loose. That's a big old longhorn. That's cool. Yeah. Hey there, fella. <laughs> okay, stockyard parking. I guess that's where we got to go. That is cool. They really take the uh, where the west begins and serious here in Fort Worth, don't they? <laughs> oh, here's parking. Sweet. Okay, so we're at the world famous uh, Fort Worth stockyards. It's a recognized national historic district by the U.S. Congress, and uh, it's an interesting place. Looks like uh, some girl here is having her quinceanera. Getting her quinceanera pictures here at the stockyards. So, we're going to look around a bit and maybe find a place to have a drink. It's early afternoon, so it's time for some Jack Daniels. She looks pretty, doesn't she? I told him that she looks like Cinderella, but I thought that was nice. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Are you going to answer my question? I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. So sorry. Well, it's time for some Jack Daniels. Oh, come on. You know the answer to <laughs> that when you ask me. Well, this barbecue place is plenty busy. Wait, you... Whoa. So you're saying you are down for some Jack Daniels? Uh, maybe twist my arm. Uh, Just... uh... Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm down. So... <laughs> cool. <laughs> Lots of uh, dining and clothing, it's shops. Definitely, it's definitely an original place. Very much touristy, I guess. Yeah, I've never seen it. Sassy pants? I don't know. Do you think it's my type of clothing? Mm -hmm. Hey, y'all. How you doing? Good. Fine. How are you? How are you? Boots. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. I've never owned a pair. <laughs> Lots of them. These are kind of cool. $269. You may all go to hell. I will go to Texas. Davy Crockett. <laughs> Looking at it for yourself? No. Nothing says Texas like a Cadillac with horns on it. <laughs> Am I right? Yes, absolutely. I wanted this car. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a little run down. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I would drive this. But for me, I was, I've been wondering where my pappy is. <laughs> Now I know. 
this is where he's been. That's so true. So true. Since I'm half Irish. I want to ride a horse. <laughs> Can I ride a horse? You bet. Ride that horse like Jennifer Connelly in Career Opportunities. I don't know the movie, but I'm gonna do my best. You don't know that movie? I suppose I'm too young for that movie. Every guy my age knows that movie. Yeah, that, that place looks cool. You wanna go up there? Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. You wanna go to the top or do you wanna look at the misters? There's the restrooms. Yeah, let's go to the top. Oh, it's a kitty! Yeah. Cat wants to eat? Yeah, she's like, stay away from Yeah. This looks like a cool place for a beer. I actually think it's cooler down there. Huh? I actually think it's cooler down there. It probably is. It's not as cool, though. I don't think it's cool. I don't think they have service up here though, we're going to have to go down. Okay. We're, at, we're at Love Shack at the Fort Worth Stockyards. We just ordered a Boom Boom Burger. It's a burger with a mushroom. Yes. And we got a double Jack and Coke and a double Jack and Water. Yeah? Yes, absolutely. You ready to try your piece? No, I've been ready. Take a bite. Let's see if it's good. It's a pretty big burger. What do you think? Good. Yeah? Sweet, I'm ready to eat. Oh my goodness, a homeless man would go to town in here. He'd be like, hell yeah. That's a lot of beer drinking, I isn't it? I could stay in a four, four star hotel tonight. He'd sell all those cans. Huh. Yeah, that's so Didn't even think about that. It's a lot quieter up here. <laughs> uh. Okay, so we are at the water gardens in Fort Worth. The famous water gardens. First saw these in the movie Logan's Run. If you remember that movie from 1976. The people had lived underground, they had to be killed when they were 30, and they escaped from the underground into these water gardens <laughs> at the end of the movie. But this is one of uh, Fort Worth's top attractions, and um, it's free, except for parking. 25 cents for parking. So uh, that's pretty cool if you ask me. Well, it's 6.30 in the morning here in Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, one of the tenements of these middle range budget hotels is the free breakfast every morning. So uh, I'm gonna check out what it's like at this place. I'm going solo, because as usual, the wife can't seem to get out of bed. So head down and check out the breakfast, which apparently is this way. Yeah, this way. A bunch of, bunch of muffins. Uh, scrambled eggs and sausage. Oatmeal. Mm. Cereal with milk. And uh, took some yogurts, some oranges. And that's about it. Microwave and toaster. And it looks like we got some juice. The pickings are a little slim, but we'll try it out. It's a pretty meager breakfast, I have to be honest. Uh, a little bit of scrambled eggs. Turkey breakfast sausage. Yeah, I don't know if that's going to be any good. And some oatmeal. No biscuits and gravy. No potatoes. No waffles. So, uh, 
This hotel's gonna lose some points on the breakfast, that's for sure. An update on the breakfast. The eggs are okay, but that turkey sausage is not edible. And uh, neither is the oatmeal. That is the worst oatmeal I've ever eaten. So, orange juice is okay. So it looks like I'm gonna be heading to McDonald's for breakfast because I can't eat this stuff. And I'm a type of guy who can eat just about anything. <laughs> Ah, wow, that feels good in here. Are you kidding me? They say the AC is broken. They're waiting on somebody to fix it. And it's at 86 degrees, maybe hotter now. 87 degrees. Of course, I locked it all up. I just thought I had to get somebody to come in and unlock it and do it. No, it's broken. <laughs> well, 87, that's comfortable working out. In temperature. I don't like it. I've got sweat pouring down me. It's gross. Yeah, you're sweating it out. All that uh, Jack Daniels you drank last night. <laughs> well, I guess we better replenish it. <laughs> you drink all that Jack Daniels, you got to sweat it out. You drank a lot. You drank a lot. You passed out. You drank a lot. So can we try again tonight? Yeah, I'll uh, I'll work out later. This is perfect temperature for working out, I think. It it's got a good view of the pool. When are you gonna work out? Here in a little bit. I did this. I did the step work for a while. For a while. So I've been trying to do. I've been trying to do what we call some cardio, so I'm not getting cardio at work mm -hmm. anymore. So I've been trying to get in some cardio. So you got everything you need to work out in this gym? What's your view of this gym? Well, I found that no gym in any of these hotels has a squat rack and barbell. Which You're not going to get that. One of my favorite things, and I can't get them, so I can't do my squats, <clears throat> and I can't do my what do you call it? The kind of perverted looking <laughs> hip thrust, hip thrust. I can't do those either. So hmm. I can do armless, but of course I brought my own. Wait. Hmm. Well, there's, looks like there's plenty to work out for me, so. See, I'm not big on, I'm not big on the machines. Yeah, right. You know? All right, well, I'll leave you be. We're here at the pool, and she just dumped her drink out. Maybe I'll share my drink with her. Maybe I won't. You knocked mine over. I'm pretty stingy with my Jack Daniels. You knocked mine over. I didn't knock it over. Look, uh. You did. Check it out. Why did you find it? See this? No diving. Look. It's only two inches. No, two, it's only two inches deep, but don't dive in yet. Well, you, oh, you, you can dive in here, but do not dive here. You ruined my drink. I'm gonna push your ass in. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> you wanna get in? No, it's, it's it's really cold. You can. It's not that cold. Come on. Oh gosh, it's cold. It's very very cold to me. Huh? I despise cold water. I despise cold moved, water. I, that's part of the reason I moved to Texas, okay? I despise cold water and cold weather. Hmm. You gonna slide down? No. It's too cold down there. Huh? It's too cold down there. It's too cold? Yes, and I have my easy in my hand. You what? Yeah. This place doesn't have a hot tub. That's what it needs. It needs a hot tub. We're in Sundance Square in downtown Fort Worth. Um, this is considered one of the best developed downtowns in the country. And it really is. Downtown Fort Worth is really beautiful. We've been all over it. And you know, in most downtowns and big cities, you have a lot of unsightly areas with bad parking and buildings that are abandoned and you know they'll have parts of the city downtown area that looks like crap but downtown Fort Worth everywhere is pretty beautiful there's practically nowhere that is abandoned or decrepit looking it just looks gorgeous everywhere down here and uh, the people here a lot of people live in downtown Fort Worth it has a very large downtown population and of course Sundance Square which is the big area down here basically almost all of downtown Fort Worth so it's full of restaurants um, theaters stores all kinds of shopping so uh, we're gonna explore a little bit
Oh yeah, I love the red goose. So we're having some Jack Daniels. Yes, of course. And we're having some smoked sausage. <laughs> How's those fries? They are scrumptious. Nice and fresh. Nice and fresh. Jalapeno sausage, fresh made. I haven't tried that. And baked beans. Yum. What do you think? I didn't even get it in my mouth yet. Huh? Is it good or no? Yeah? Yummy. Yes. Nothing better than fresh made sausage and fresh made barbecue. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, All right, try one bean. There you go. Barbecue bean. Okay. Give it a try. Don't be scared. I don't want to. Just I don't try it. I, don't want, I already know I don't Good. like it. Ew. Ew. Now you gotta try it. Ew. Right, one, I, don't, I don't like it. One barbecue baked bean. Ready? Give it a try. Give it a try. Don't be scared. That barbecue, barbecue sauce is good. Isn't it? <laughs> you don't like it? No. Telling the viewers how good that barbecue was here at the Red Goose Saloon in downtown Fort Worth. So good. So, so good. Sorry, I'm You even like the beans, didn't you? Oh, yes. I ate one or two. <laughs> We give the red the red blue saloon five stars. Exactly. Huh? Five stars. We're gonna have to take an Uber home. Back to the hotel. All right, our stay in Fort Worth is over and we are headed south to Houston, then Galveston Island. Yay. But before we go, our thoughts on the hotel. What did you think? Um, I love the room. It's like a small suite. They got a full kitchen with like a stove, a dishwasher, full-size refrigerator. We could, you know, we could really put that to some good use. We don't have to go out and buy, you know, go out to eat every Every night, we can mm. always just buy the food and make it. So I love that. I love the room itself. Um, I was annoyed about. I was annoyed about the gym, mostly because there was no AC. They had a problem with their AC. Yeah. The AC <laughs> so I was sweating to death. I like AC when I'm working out. So I was a little annoyed about that. Um, pool's nice, and uh, I wish I had a hot tub here. They don't. Pool's yeah. nice. Um, so what's your rate? How do you rate it? Hmm. Let me see. Actually, like 3.2. 3.2. The room well, was the only part that I really liked. <laughs> well, I'm gonna give it a little bit better than that. I mean, uh, it did have a full kitchen, even though we really didn't use it much, because we're only here a couple days. The bathroom is more like a bathroom in your house versus a hotel bathroom. But uh, the thing that annoyed me was the breakfast. The breakfast was a joke. I didn't go down to the breakfast. <laughs> I mean, that's like, it's like, these mid-range uh, hotels, breakfast, you know, that's the big thing is they give you a free breakfast every morning. And even the crappy La Quinta had a good, decent breakfast. Mm -hmm. And this, this place was a little more expensive. That breakfast sucked. It was lame. And, uh, you didn't even eat it, right? I couldn't even eat it. So that knocked it down quite a bit for me. Other than that, uh, I like the place just fine. So I'm going to give it a 4.2. All right. So we are now headed towards... Houston, then Galveston, and then New Orleans after that. Yay. So uh, be looking out for the next video.